school football be like? Jerry, watch out! Hey, yo, bro, chill out. I tore my leg. School football, the best type of football that you can play in your life. The football with the most corrupted rules. The football where everyone is literally teasing themselves, scoring on goals, trashing their s other people. But best football in the world, better than the World Cup, the Champions League. If you guys have never played school football, consider yourself a knob. But today in this video, I wanted to bring a different type of player that we see in school football. I want you guys to hit that like button and subscribe because you're about to enjoy this video today. First, we gotta begin with the me and wham the messy type of kid when he play football. Okay, first before I start, I gotta be honest. I play with people that are younger. But 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 wait 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 wait. I'm just having fun with them. If I play real football with people my age, I will still ball out. Anyways, in football, when you're the messy type of kid, is the best thing. Like, you know all these Pep Guardiola wannabes that they say pass, move, pass, move? You don't have that. You have the freedom. All you have to do is be like Busquets and you're messy. He passes the ball to you. You just dribble pass. You just play, you dribble, you have fun. Then you also play with passes. I do play with passes. But you just did. You're balling out. Everyone is just giving the ball to you. You're the type of kid that if we have in the team the other kids will be whining they'll be crying they'll be mad really a blessing and a win to be that type of kid when you put you Ronaldo Chop, you Croqueta you you do the boot skills any type of skills I don't know I don't have any skills in my head but being that type of kid you're a bug you can also call these kids the academy prospect kids but they just don't have that chance to show it I me mean, I'm just like that type of kid because when I play football I play with people that are quite younger I'm like these adults in the park that say oh I never play football I'm balling out next we got this kid I will call him the meme kid the kid that is so bad at football that he literally gets these every time he touches the ball even his first touch without pressure you can literally be i don't know 200 meters far from this kid but he will take that first touch that is so terrible that you will have the time to go and tackle the ball for him because he's so bad he doesn't have any dribbling he can't finish he can't pass he can't do anything he's a bench warmer he's a sunday league bench warmer he is so bad that even the kids when they are with him even the good ones they are panicking because they know that if they have to give the ball to them they're cooked they're going to take a goal because he can't control a freaking ball this kid is the worst type of kid to have in the team but he's also the best one because he's the one funniest one he is so bad at football that his football level is a joke he is so funny football level just makes you laugh each time he plays with the ball next if you mess up with this kid just 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 be ready to pay your hospital bills just be ready because next is the brick stick kid aka the silver ramos kid he is not there to joke with you if you even try to mess up with him when you play you end your life handicapped you have no more legs if he plays with cleats well i don't think a brick stick kid play with cleats but the ones that do you can't even touch him touch him your legs are in the hospital actually you just finished your life is finished this kid you will always make sure you don't shoot like he will pocket you he's not even playing football he's playing boxing because some of these kids they don't even know how to play ball they just know how to just kick the ball away that's all they do they tackle you they don't really know the rules so they push you then you're complaining and they're like oh you're too weak you're football but you're too weak you're complaining yeah. these kids they don't mess around they're also good kids to have in your team because you know that you play with an npc type of team and you have that kid you know that you're not good that your team can act actually do well you can get that done because he will randomly kick the ball to you he will randomly have that 99 passing accuracy and you receive the ball from him. now we got the biggest bricks better than the bricks that and he never even played football it is the 99 so good gk he never touched a ball in his life he just had these hands that are just magical he would shoot we use a shot power he could save it like this his reflexes are so good he never touched a freaking ball but he he can catch a freaking ball it's not normal his diving is so good he has 99 diving 99 in catching 99 in every single thing his positioning is bad he doesn't know how to position when the freaking nine is counter-attacking the gk he doesn't even 
even go towards the ball with the nice shoots he can save it he can save everything it's literally a break of the freaking goal shout out to them if these jinkies were literally focused on being good jinkies in football they could have went far these people that don't play football they're just so good at football when it comes to GK. Oh, uh, next these are the most annoying kids when you play it's the year seven wanna be kids like i understand you love ronaldo he made you fall in love with the game but stop copying everything you're not him you're not ronaldo you're doing literally everything when you try to ronaldo chop but you don't even know how to play ball these type of kids are the kids that only watch football but they don't know how to play ball they don't have the technique when they try out skills and all and they're messing out but they still keep on trying 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 they would just lose the ball because they're so trash the good ones we can quite say they're the academy potential kids but the one that can play ball which is like 99 percent of the cr7 when the bees they don't know how to touch a freaking ball even when they shoot their freaking they're having their paws acting like they're so good but they will literally either browse that ball or the shot will be too weak even the defender can stop it please if you're gonna be a cr7 don't act like you're literally cr7 you're not going to be mr c at everything when they celebrate it's just so annoying that's that no i'm here guys i'm here you guys are trying to see all right guys this is the end for today's video i hope you enjoyed this video of me yap mr professional yapper they call me this video was also funny and really fun to watch i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to hit that like button subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye